Are you looking for a Whistler condo investment that's got all the in-house amenities you've come to expect from a luxury stay in Whistler? I'm talking about the heated outdoor pool, the spa, the restaurants, art galleries, and an army of attentive staff and concierges. That's great because today I'm taking you on a tour of a King Studio, unit number 654 at the Four Seasons in Whistler. I know so many of my clients over the years have really gravitated towards ownership in the luxury hotel condos in Whistler and none of them can compare to owning in the Four Seasons. It sits very close to the base of Blackcomb, but it's not quite ski in ski out. So the Four Seasons has solved that problem by offering a dedicated ski concierge right at the base of the Blackcomb gondola. So you can hand off your skis and it's an easy two minute walk over to the hotel. The Four Seasons is also a phase two restricted condo, which allows you to have 28 days winter and 28 days summer of personal use. The rest of the time, the hotel manages your rentals and you get your share of the pooled revenues. More on how that works in the link up to your right. For over 20 years, I've been helping buyers in Whistler make the right property choice for their needs. So if that sounds like something you're into, please reach out to me directly at the contact details in the description below. And of course, smash that like button. Now let's head right into my tour of unit number 654 at the Four Seasons in Whistler. And now let's head into unit 654 at the Four Seasons. So as you come into this unit, this is what's called a king suite. So you've got a large entry area here. You've got a nice big closet and you've got a walk-in closet here on your right as you come in. Lots and lots of space and a safe right here. And then you've got a spacious bathroom. These are nice big bathrooms, big shower, glass stand, nice deep tub. You've got double sinks and a water closet here as we call it, with the toilet in there. And then as you come into the suite, You've got a nice big area here and it's really, a king suite is really like a studio suite. So it's not a full one bedroom. So you've got a king bedroom here, king, uh, king bed here. You have uh, a, a pull out sofa. And then if we just turn a little bit here, you've got a nice space to sit, TV on the wall and lots of space to sit and do some work if you need to. So you've got a desk area right here with upper cabinets, which is really nice too. So uh, the one thing with now uh, the Four Seasons is that there's really no cooking space at all. So there's no kitchens, which is a little different than let's say the Westin or uh, say the Hilton or something like that. So what you do have here is your typical, um, you know, Nespresso, you've got uh, hot water here. And then right down here, you've got your bar fridge and everything down there. And you've got some stuff, uh, wine glasses and coffee cups and so forth. Now the, the uh, Four Seasons was renovated a few years ago, so all the uh, interior has been uh, updated really nicely. Beautiful headboard, new carpeting, new furnishings, really, really nice. Now this particular suite has got a little bit of a deck. It's not much, but uh, some suites here do not have decks at all, where this one has one where you can just walk out and uh, you can take a look out here. So what we've got is we're looking over the courtyard, sort of the inner courtyard of the Four Seasons. And this is the Braidwood Pub. And then there's a side cut restaurant, amazing steaks down here. And this is just sort of an outdoor patio here that's open in the summer and the winter. And if we just look down here, that right around the corner is the pool and hot tub and down below is the spa. So that's really nice that in this wing of the building, you do have uh, the spa and, and pool and everything. Otherwise, if you were in the other wing of the building, it's not a big deal, but you just have to go to the lobby, go through this walkway, and then come into this building where we sit to uh, grab those amenities. Now, uh, you can see here, this suite's really quite nice because you're looking south and you've got a view of Whistler Mountain. So I can see in the distance here, that is Tokum Ski Run coming down on Whistler Mountain. So nice views, summer and winter. And then if you just look down here to the left, that is the entry of the building. And so you've got the valet parking and everything as you come in right there. So that's nice and easy. And that in the distance there is the uh, the Four Seasons private residences. So those are full ownership and um, they're huge. So you can buy a uh, two bedrooms are around 2000 square feet, three bedrooms are pushing 3000 square feet, and you can actually live in those 
uh, if you wish. So those are a nice option too, but they're quite a bit more spendy than what we're in now. So if you've decided the Four Seasons Whistler is where you wanna own, you've gotta be ready to jump when a unit comes on the market. To be notified when any hotel condo unit at the Four Seasons comes up for sale, hit the link in the description below to sign up for my weekly email newsletter, Whistler Friday Morning Coffee. It's a quick email with all the latest listings for the week, solds and price changes for Whistler, along with my market insights so you can make smart choices. Now, if you want to keep watching more great videos, I've got a playlist right here. And if you never want to miss another, just subscribe.